hello everyone i hope uh, everyone is doing well so today i'm going to talk a very interesting topic okay so i'm not going to talk on my leave application or anything okay on that one so the topic is transforming activity to alternate compliant roles okay so this requirement is very heavily used if if anyone is working in upgrade applications because when we are working in upgrade applications okay it's a too much pressure from the management that we have to improve the cartel score okay so if you if you scroll or if you browse my channel you'll find that i have created a completely separate video on how we can improve our cartel score so just a, to extensions to that one today we are talking how we can transform activity because if you are upgrading or even if you are rewriting or you, like you are writing your code freshly or if you and if you have not updated your skills too much what happens that i am seeing that either people are not unable to convert activity to alternate compliant roles okay or they are still writing activity for few of the things okay so today i'll i'll focus on those things only that how we can transform or how we can write alternate roles okay even i asked this question from many of the folks in interview also and they are unable to answer it okay because if you see in any applications which was developed in 6.x or 7. even 7.x okay people have used activity even for property set okay and the common usage is let's say that you have a drop down okay earlier people have used dynamic select so if you have a drop down people have used activity or for any things okay for a simple okay if you let's say you want to browse some data and you want to do a looping like after getting a data you want to uh, do a looping you want to do some page remove or if you want to update the page list so those kind of a things okay for for those kind of a things people have used heavily activity okay even for obj save also okay even today also i am i'm seeing that many of the uh, the folks okay in 8.x also the, the moment they are thinking okay i need any obj methods they are simply going and writing activity but no we can avoid that okay so let's see that okay i'll just take a common activity let's let's I'll, i'll take a very common activity and we'll see how we can transform that so let's say you have activity what what all things that activity is doing so that activity is doing obj browse okay and then after obj browse maybe you are taking a key and then you are like kind of opening in the instance okay after looping okay after getting that after doing obj browse you are looping that okay and after looping looping you are getting a key okay and then again you are going and doing obj open okay obj open my handle and then uh, on that data okay either you want to do obj save or you want to do obj delete okay if you want to do obj save maybe in that you want to do commit or you want to do commit uh, like obj save with right now so these kind of a things you do you need to do so for these kind of operations okay like obj save delete commit right now okay how how you can transform that okay you don't have to think activity always activity that you have to go and write a new activity for these things okay what you can do is create a reusable activity in base class to handle the all db operations okay with a blank step page so if you watch my video again i'm talking about that one uh, i have explained completely that how we can do that okay with the complete blank page, so that it it can work on any page so in that way, what will happen so let's say you are writing one activity for all these operations okay with the parameter let's say um, say uh, like param dot say param dot obj delete param dot commit param dot write now based on that if you are executing that activity so with one activity what you can do is you can like transform other activity okay you can use this activity usable activity in other places and and save your improve your gardel score save your warning okay so this is one of the important points now the next is that let's say uh, you want to call an out of the box activity okay so uh, still i am i'm seeing that many of the folks they, they doesn't feel comfortable in passing parameters okay and calling activity from data transform but it's very easy you need to call execute activity functions and before that you need to just make sure that you set all parameters the moment you'll set all parameters in param dot let's say if any activity is taking that param dot py id or the case id just set param dot py id or case id and then execute this activity with the right step page and then activity name it will work okay but uh, like as i'm saying i'm i'm still seeing that many of the people are not comfortable with that okay and they're still going and writing activity so you don't need to okay 
the next thing is that connect methods okay so even you like you are working on your upgrades okay if you if you're getting a post from your management that you need to increase your garden score what you can do is you can remove all connects methods and create a data page data page for all external services okay and then you can use the data page in your data transform okay so earlier let's say you have a implementation layer activity which is calling a frame like integration layer activity and then in that, in that integration layer activity you are calling connect soap or connect race whatever now in, in today's what you can do you can have a, a data transform at implementation layer and then simply call the data page okay from there only you can call the data page with the required parameters okay we don't, we don't have to access any implementation layer attributes in the data page just pass all 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 details in a parameter and then it will work the next thing is that if let's say if you want to do a page new then you can do update page if you have a java functions if you have a java written in activity you can write functions okay and and these are the operations which we which we find in in data transforms if you see simply we can we can uh, use this if you are using page remove in your activity you can use here page remove uh, here you can use remove if you are using page new you can in update update page if you are calling a data transform from uh, there you can here also we can use even the sort methods is also there and then these are the like the generic methods when like when preconditions and post conditions those things we can use it okay looping is also there append is there so if you just try to okay do that okay with the data transform yes you can easily achieve it okay so that is what like today uh, uh, like today's session is that how we can transform that okay and this is heavily as i have explained okay in the beginning of this class also that this is heavily used in in the upgrade projects okay so try that okay so uh, i don't think like if you if like with these alternatives i i don't think any of the activity will not be able to transform to compliant roles okay yes i agree that still you need activity in few of the places like if you're using using job scheduler or you're writing queue processor but with these steps you can definitely limit your activity or if you're working on upgrade projects you can uh, replace your activity with the data transform uh, data page report definition etc okay so yeah that's it for today's class this is a very small uh, session so i hope this will help you and if you're upgrade if you're if you're working upgrade definitely watch this video hunt like completely from um, beginning to end so this will definitely help you okay and if you guys are liking my content uh, do subscribe my channel so thank you thank you very much have a good day